Okay, guys. This print's beautiful. But, I'm actually going to do the NFL, like, rookies. Not rookie series, but, like, NFL, like, rookies to watch. And, yes, I'm using my online information because I have not scanned this list in a long time. I mean, I can tell you names. I could spit out names off the top of my head, like guys who could be fantasy beast potential sleepers. But like, I could draw out names right now at the top of my head: DeAndre Swift, Jalen Regal, Rieger, like AJ Dillon. I mean, I can name more, but I mean, shit, it's been a long time since well, since I've researched. The NFL draft, so I'm just gonna spit out names because I am because the names are familiar. Zach Moss played running back at Utah. I mean, I could I could chew out names if I can remember names. Oh yeah, KJ Hamler, Jerry Judy. Um, holy shit. Okay, um, what's that guy? Henry Ruggs. But I'm just gonna do the names to watch late for some of them because again, I can't remember what right off the top of my head. I can tell you who could be a fantasy sleeper. Zach Moss. What at Utah? A little bit over his class. Like, he has some pop in his gasket. A fantasy beast for a rookie could be A.J. Dillon because he's playing with Aaron Rodgers and then you have the receivers and then you have Aaron Jones and he could be a goal on fantasy star. That could be a, that could be A.J. Dillon right there. But I'm going to tell you some names and I'm doing my online information because, like, I mean, here's what I'm going to do with some of them. Because I don't remember the draft. It's been months since the draft, so here we go. Okay, Jalen Rieger, Philadelphia Eagles. He's got Carson Lentz. I just don't know who the running backs are on this team. Is Alshon Jeffrey still on this list? Is Dallas Goddard still on this list? The offensive line is question, but, I mean, he was speedy at TCU, so he can get open. He's going to get some. He's gonna have some pop in his step. Jalen Rieger has some pop, has a step. Another rookie to watch for Los Angeles Rams. Todd Gurley is gone. But Cam Akers, Cam Akers played behind a bad team at FSU. In fact, it was a really bad team at FSU. The offensive line was poor. If Cam Akers had played on a good, like, ECU team like Dalvin Cook had when Dalvin Cook was in college, he would have some pop. That's a rookie to watch for Boston Todd Gurley. I'm not predicting he's going to do sensational things, but, I mean, he's going to be on a better NFL team than he was in college. He was on a shitty NFL team. Bad, bad, bad NFL team. I mean, a bad college team. Definitely. Okay, next we're going to go here. Cam Akers already did that. Oh, my God. I guess if we're going to do defensive players, like, I'm going to go back over here to what this article said, and J1 Johnson from Chicago Bears. J1 Johnson's got some length on him. He played on a good college team last year in Utah. Utah had a great college team last year. But he's got some lengths that can cover guys. He can cover bigger guys. Think of the taller receivers. Like, it used to be Brandon Marshall when I was, like, back in the day. It was Brandon Marshall was a big dog. Jalen Marshall, I mean, like, Brandon Marshall was big. He can, he can move. He was the fantasy beast. But think about that. That's kind of Randy Moss. Like, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Johnson can cover. He's got the length to be able to cover the bigger receivers. Right now, I can't think of who the bigger receivers are because it's been a while since the NFL, but, like, it's like somebody like a Brandon Marshall like a troll on back in the day. Jalen Johnson's going to be having the length to help cover that for the Bears. He can do that. Okay, keep going on. For the for the Lions, I'll eat DeAndre Slim. But he's not really a sleeper, but he's really good at Georgia. And... He's going to be with Camp Carryon Johnson. Carryon Johnson cannot stay healthy. Carryon Johnson was a beast in the in the in the college, and he can he was decent at George, at Auburn. But I mean, John Rich, well, there's one for. He's probably going to be able to pick up some fantasy points because he can receive too. Okay, next Cam Akers. We've already touched on him. Xavier McKinney. E. This is a guy that I don't know who's like. Michael Pittman, Jr. I used to play for for um, USC. I don't know much about him, so I'm not going to touch on him. USC has not been relevant in a long time. 
Okay, carry on Johnson, DeAndre Swift. Okay, here's DeAndre Swift for the Lions. I touched on him earlier, but like Daniel Jeremiah says that like he has a similar skill set to Josh Jacobs. And I expect Kamara will host the next level. J Josh Jacobs was a beast last year for the Raiders, so if he does anything good, I think Detroit could be sneaky good. The problem with Detroit is they have mental lapses. They have mental lapses. I know a former Lions fan. We talk about it all the time when we eat. And they have mental lapses. Stafford needs to get his crap together because he's had 10 plus years to do it. He has a cannon of an arm, but he doesn't always make great decisions in the pocket. He's always around him. But he doesn't always make... But they have Kenny Galladay, who's like Megatron. Not as good as Megatron, but this should be a good year for Stafford. Otherwise, they should trade him because he has had 10 plus years to show he can be a franchise quarterback. Oh, here's one I like. Here's one guy I like. He played J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins on the Ravens. You already got Lamar Jackson. You already got Hollywood Brown. And you already got Mark Ingram, so... And I know they have some tight end. I know they have some tight end. I don't remember the name, but J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins produced at Ohio State. He rushed over 2,000 yards. He did a lot of damage. But I think he could do some. He's, he's going to be a rookie. That would be another fantasy sleeper. Mark Ingram is, is, a, is a decent running back, and plus he's going to spill Ingram. So he's going to run over people. But nobody's talking about him, but he was a beast at Ohio State. He just did not have, like... He just did not like him. And also, Justice Hill used to be at Oklahoma State. Is on that team, so. I mean, the Tua Tagliola is on here, but he's on Miami, and he's playing on a shithole of a team this year. Shithole of a team. Next, I got Justin Herbert, and Justin Herbert is playing on the Los Angeles Chargers. Tyrod Taylor is supposed to be a starter right now, but Justin Herbert, like, might do it. He's going to be a rookie, so he's going to be in that situation where he's going to be one of those growing pains. But he has a lot of talent around him. Mike Williams, the former Clemson wideout. He has Hunter Henry. Austin Inkler running. He has Ken Allen. Ken Allen's a beast, one of the better receivers that nobody knows about. Yeah, okay. Um, San Francisco 49ers, Brandon Ayuk. He's a wide receiver, but I mean, I don't know much about him, but Arizona State. Maybe, like, he might be a good, like, slot receiver or something. I don't know much about him, so I ain't gonna talk in detail about him. Next, Derek Brown for the Carolina Panthers. You may watch the Auburn Alabama game last year. That was a great game. Like, Derek Brown, he's a big cat. Him and Marlon Davidson drove fear in defenses last year. Derek Brown is going to be a good rookie for the Carolina Panthers. He can get after the quarterback. He can stop the run. He can clog at the middle. That's going to be one of the better defensive guys the Panthers have had in a long time, especially since Charles Johnson. But he's a good – if you ever saw him, him – Playing on our Auburn, he gave Alabama fits. Okay, moving on, we're going to do some list of names. That's a name I know, but I don't know a lot about him, so I'm moving on. Oh, here's another guy I like for the Minnesota Vikings because I'm a Packers fan. But Justin Jefferson, he's not the speediest guy in the world, but I mean. Justin Jefferson can catch. He can produce. The only thing... The only thing is, is, is like... And will he be able to make up for Stephon Diggs? Probably not. Stephon Diggs just had that raw speed. But Justin Jefferson is going to be like... He can catch. 18, 18 touchdowns last year. Kirk Cousins, that, that team with, with um, Adam Thielen and Kyle Rudolph and Dalvin, Dalvin Cook, they should be able to pop offensively. Okay, next interesting name is Denver Broncos. I talked about Alabama earlier. Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy is going to be a beast in Denver. 
Explosive Drew Lock is really good. All of a sudden, their team is not that bad because they got that Lindsey guy at quarterback, I mean, running back, um, Royce Freeman, and they got Casey Hamler. I think they got Noah Font. So, all of a sudden, their defense offensively going to be interesting to watch. Jerry Judy can run. He's like a 4 4 1 or something. But, and plus, I forgot they still have Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton was pretty good last year. So, if Drew Locke can get his shit together at quarterback, they can be really good. Next, Las Vegas Raiders. And there's another Alabama player I can't help it because he's good. 4 3 speed or something, 4 7. Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs can run. All of a sudden, I don't know who the quarterback, David Carr. This should be his last year for Las Vegas because he's had plenty of time to prove whether he can. Like he can he can be the franchise quarterback. I think if he does decent this year, I think he's he's a good quarterback. To me, he's not great, but he's not bad. I mean, you can do worse than having David uh, Derek Carr. I mean, not Derek, Derek Carr, but yeah, Derek Carr. I'm thinking about David Carr to bust, but you could do worse than having Derek Carr on your fucking team. But the problem is, he doesn't. Outside Josh Jacobs, they really don't have much on the team. So Henry Ruggs is going to get doubled a lot. They're going to be able to like. The whole defense is going to be in the focus on him, but still, he's speed. I mean, it sounds like a Mark Davis, like an Al Davis obsession. Al Davis is all obsessed with speed. So we'll see if he's that good, but, I mean, you never know. Next, this is one of my favorites. This is my boy. If you're a Cowboys fan, might be like Justin Hutchinson, but C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb is like... Really good. He played Oklahoma. He's a yard under catch, but he's getting catching the ball. I don't know about he's the greatest in speed, but if this is going to be Dallas's year, they have no excuse. They got the defense. They got that Smith guy. They got Rand, uh, Gregory. They have Zeke. They still have Dak. They still have. I mean, they might be losing with like Jason Lynn, but Jason Lynn was just old anyway. They still got Gallup. They still have Mark Cooper. They should be really good this year. If they don't win their division and at least compete for the, like, the NFC title with San Francisco, they should tear apart the whole team because that's bad. CeeDee Lamb is a beast. He can, he can run. Next, um, the Indianapolis Colts. Jonathan Taylor. And this is one of my favorite boys he played at Wisconsin. I like Jonathan Taylor. Not only can he catch, but he might. I think he's developed his catching game in college, but he, had, like, he ran for more yards than anybody else college history I mean but he also he has he has pretty good speed for his power because he can run over people he's a 437 in the combine so not only that does he have that but he's developing something he can he can he can catch and they still got Marlon Mack so the only question at quarterback is Philip Rivers is getting all up there in age so I say, I say that the question is what that is. Is can Jacoby Brissett be the starting quarterback? He's not bad, but Jonathan Taylor is pretty good. He's better than what people think he is. Plus, it's a long history of like Wisconsin running back, so it's like that alumni damn thing. Next, this is a guy I like. Q to the Detroit Lions fan. I've eaten it for years. Jeffrey Okuda, Detroit Lions. I like him. I like Jeffrey Okuda. I mean, he's big, he's rangy, he's got the speed, but he can cover the bigger guys. Like the, the taller receivers. I mean, I, I don't know why I cannot think of all the taller receivers right now, but all the guys. Like like um, Michael Thomas from like, the New Orleans Saints. He can cover those guys. He's big enough. He can do it. Okay, next, the place for the Arizona Cardinals. This is a guy who's, who's one of my first two. Play Clemson defense, Isaiah Simmons. The guy is a beast. You can call him a safety. You can call him a linebacker. I see speed. The only problem is, is he's going to be able to hold up late lives because he's not really big or muscular enough. But, but like, he's got the tools to be, like, able to do both of them. He's versatile. He can blitz the quarterback or he can cover out space. He's going to be like a faster version of A.J. Hawk or like a faster version of Clay Matthews. No offense to Clay, but Clay cannot 
run like Isaiah Simmons can. Isaiah Simmons can run. The only problem, like I said before, is injury. Well, he have to have the bolt the size to be able to like the the handle and stuff. Okay, next. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua uh, Tua Tua and the problem with Tua I see is he still got the hip injury behind him, but that team is gonna be really bad. The team with the Dolphins is gonna be really bad. I do not see them being I see them being crappy and shitty. I just do not see the Dolphins being very good this year. They're gonna be shitty because they don't have much talent around them. They traded Kenyon Drake and he was the only team they had, the player they had on their team. So that's I don't see him being. They have to, have to see him like get better from injury and like seeing the team around him improve. I don't see them being that good. Disaster. Okay, next. This is one of my favorites. The guys who do not know if Patrick Mahomes is already good at his age, which he is. He's so great. Because they said they said in the all season that Patrick Mahomes is just now learning how to read defenses. That's scary. Pat Mahomes won a Super Bowl in his third season. No, his second season started. But Clyde Edwards Belair. He played at LSU with Joe Burrow, which is why Joe Burrow. He made Joe Burrow look really good. He's not some, he's not big, but he's small. But he can he can beast. He can catch the ball. He makes the most ridiculous catches against Alabama. He made a shoestring catch. This, the, the, he does the little things like he can run. He can catch. He can do it all. He's, he's tough. He's, he's got more power than people think. To me, he's like Kareem Hunt. Imagine if Kareem Hunt was still on Kansas City. Not only that, they have... Um, Travis Kelsey and Sammy uh, Watkins. They still got Sammy Watkins, I think, but Tyreek Kill, that's speed. That's pure speed right there with Tyreek Kill and Kelsey. Kelsey can run, too. This guy's going to be really good. But, I mean, he's been... Andy Reid's comparing Edwards Belair to Brian Westbrook. Back in the day when we were like... Brian Westbrook was our fantasy like hero. He was. I don't know if he's going to be that good, but he's pretty good. Better than people think they are. Okay, next, um, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. And with him, is I got the problem with, like, the offensive line. But the skill talent is really good now. And it is because they drafted T. Higgins. I don't have to look at this to know they have T. Higgins. He played at Clemson, a big receiver. But not only that, do they have Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon played at Oklahoma State, can carry kickoffs, can handle the ball, can receive. And he's still have A.J. Green. Plus, they have Tower Boyd. Tower Boyd's pretty decent. Auden Tate. So, they're, Joe Burr, I still don't think Joe Burr is that good. I mean, he played in a lot of the last roster. The same way as I don't think Tua is that good. Not that they're overrated. It's just I don't think they're as good as what the scheme of things are. But that's a pretty good school position group uh, Joe Burr has. So, he's going to be able to be pretty good, like, as a rookie and stuff. It's going to take him some time, though. It really is. Um, next, Chase Young. I don't know. That's like, I don't know much about him playing at Oklahoma State, but he's a physical freak. They compared him to Julius Peppers and Mario Liam, so, I mean, that's interesting. That's the list of the rookies I think are going to be pretty decent, but, I mean, check my back. I'm going to do more NFL videos and stuff because, like, it's, it's getting ready for getting ready for NFL season.